Matt DeWine announced the deaths of two Dayton children will spur the state to make changes to how former inmates are monitored upon release. Uh, two News reporter Adam Reif live in Dayton asking questions about the new program he announced here in Dayton. Governor DeWine was somber today at this adult rehabilitation facility as he retold how Eleanor McBride and Penelope Jasko were killed last August. The two six-year-old girls were in a minivan when Raymond Walters slammed into it with a stolen police cruiser. Today, the governor says we need to strengthen the way that at-risk former offenders are monitored. Talking about this case because the man accused of killing the girls, Raymond Walters, had just been released from prison. 16 days before. Governor Mike DeWine says it's impossible to know if newly announced changes to the state's post-release control system would have prevented Raymond Walters from going on a crime spree that culminated with a high-speed crash outside the Dayton Metro Library. Anytime we make changes, one cannot predict, can't go back in time and say, would that have prevented a certain incident or certain tragedy. Walters was on supervised release like thousands of other former inmates across Ohio. The state is now increasing efforts to monitor people who may be at risk of committing more crimes once they're released. It's always in a perpetual stage of improvement. But the reality is we have some bad people who are going to do more bad things in the future. For the past three months, the nine member working group has analyzed caseload numbers, GPS tracking systems, the use of crime scene software and the adult parole authorities internal review procedures. Governor DeWine insists the group's 11 recommendations will make a difference. What we can say is that all of the things in this report uh, will make a if when implemented fully will make Ohio a lot safer and will save lives. Now the governor says many of the working group's 11 recommendations can be implemented right now, but he does say others like increased staffing will require increased funding. Still, the governor says he's ready to make his case to the General Assembly. Live in Dayton, Adam Rye, 5 on 2.